Are these sneakers overhyped or are they worth it? What's going on everyone? My name's Roscoe and we are back. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the Tom Sachs general purpose sneaker in the sulfur colorway. These are scheduled to be dropping on the sneakers app on 9.29 for a retail price of $110. This sneaker has already dropped on Tom Sachs website and that is how I was able to get my pair. Be careful on this shoe if you're going for it because it is in women's sizing. So I've seen this happen so many times and people are buying women's sizing thinking it's men's sizing and it's screwing everything up. So just be extra cautious if these shoes drop at other boutiques and you go super, super fast. So you do have to do the conversion if the website isn't gonna do it for you. I believe for me, it's like a 13 and a half or a 13. So um, in women's and it ends up being 11 and a half, uh, 12 for me. Sizing on this shoe though, I do recommend going true to size. I have seen some people go a half size down because when you do wear these, it starts to loosen up on the sides. And this is a very, very thin upper. It does loosen and it does stretch a little bit. So, you know, you might want to go half size down if you want that tight extra squeeze fit. But for me, I don't mind that. I like a little bit of space in there. So true to size fits absolutely perfect for me on this particular shoe. This sneaker is supposed to be portrayed as like the everyday, you know, wear shoe. In the sneaker industry, we focus so much on the hype, so much on, you know, the flex aspect. You know, we like look at the shoes and the shoes are supposed to be like a look at me type feature, right? And I think Saks wanted to change it up a little bit and he just wanted to make an awesome shoe that isn't about the shoe. It's about you. It's about what you do in your shoes. I think he's a very, you know, smart individual and he likes to focus on, you know, looking at every aspect as a tool. Your sneaker is a tool that is part of your daily routine and daily life. And I feel like, you know, you can't go on with your day or you can't be successful with your day if you're not comfortable in your shoe. It's a very interesting mindset for this but I think that's the approach. I know we just look at this as something simple, like, oh, it's just a piece of rubber and some leather and some suede, right? But I, I kind of dig it. And why I mentioned about, is this shoe overhyped or is it worth it? It's because, you know, Tom Sachs, <laughs> he's very popular in the sneaker game. Created probably one of the most coveted shoes of all time. I mean, it's a shoe that goes for upwards of $10,000. For him to come back in 2022 and to give something for everybody holds a little bit of weight, right? Because we've been waiting for something for Tom Sachs. It does have a, you know, a little bit of a, a weight to it. And I think a lot of people out there have been waiting for something from Tom Sachs. So this is the second colorway that he's launched. It's called Sulphur. It's a yellow all upper. You have yellow on the kind of I don't know, like mesh material on the side. You have yellow throughout the suede on the back of the heel and also on the toe box. You have a heavy duty rubberized sole with a super duper um, kind of rugged tread uh, for the bottom, which is, I think plays a factor for these shoes. And I think it makes these sneakers very comfortable. You do have a white Nike swoosh right across and you do have some nice orange kind of hints on the pull tab for the tongue and also the pull tab on the heel. You have a white tongue, Nike branding on the label, and then you have the Nike kind of craft uh, font on the back of the heel, which is kind of cool because it kind of looks like, a, <laughs> it looks like, a, like a, a toddler or a five-year-old drew that. <laughs> this shoe is really, really nice. I know it's nothing too wild and too crazy, but if you're just looking for a regular sneaker, a sneaker where you can just beat up, wear it to the ground, this is definitely it. And I know we just live in this society of just like, oh, flex, flex. We gotta, we gotta just, oh, we gotta wear a thousand dollar shoes. 
I don't think that's the purpose for these. Even though this one is starting to go to the moon a little bit because it's the OG original colorway, but I feel like from Tom Sachs's point of view, that's not what he wants. He wants something that's easily available, you know, something that's low cost on the secondary market. He wants you to wear your shoes. This one, I, I absolutely love. I wore this for my trip down here to Florida when I moved. Wanted to see if it was worth it because this is, this is kind of outside my comfort zone. It's not something that I would normally wear. I, I love them. I, I threw them on my feet and I've been wearing them ever since. They do stretch. This is what I was saying. Like, look how wide. <laughs> Look how wide this one is. Uh, I love the colorway on this one. This one's simple, all white with a little bit of blue hints on there. With the Sulphur one releasing, and that's the one that everyone's gonna have an opportunity at getting. It's not gonna hit the same, right? Something about Nike right now, they just wanna drop everything yellow, right? It's like yellow shoe after yellow shoe after yellow shoe. And for me, it's like, dude, I don't need that many yellow shoes. It's not something I normally wear. It, it's cool. It's different. It's definitely give a little bit of a fall vibe. You know, in a way, I think this is going to look good with a lot of your olive cargo fits or your brown fits. I get it. it it's cool. But I don't think this is going to be one of the more popular ones. Is this shoe overhyped? A little bit, I would say yes and no. I do like this shoe a lot but I don't think it's worth the crazy amount of resale value. And seeing these newer colorways come out, like the Sulphur and this brown pair that they have that should be releasing very, very soon, the resale market is starting to go down on them, and that's a good thing because I don't think the purpose of this is supposed to have a sneaker that's going for like $300, $400 on the secondary market. I think he wants to keep it as low as possible and i will say this is one shoe that if you do beat up i think it looks better i think this shoe looks good when you gets all scuffed up and dirty and grimy i think it just gives it a little bit more character i like it i like my pair of sacks good luck on getting your sacks <laughs> on sneakers this upcoming week that is my video for you guys today Hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out.